talk about something completely different now, though. Let's talk about Elon Musk. Um, I want to take you back into time uh, when Elon Musk, the owner of Tesla, a multi-billionaire, one of the richest men in the world, said that he wanted to buy Twitter and offered $44 billion for the uh, social media site. Well, he's gone and done it again, just two weeks before a court case to basically try and force him into actually going ahead with that deal that he promised. He has said, yes, he will indeed go ahead and buy the site. Well, let's talk about that with Guy Cocker. He's editor-in-chief at Maximum PC Magazine and joins us. Good morning to you, Guy. Well, thank you very much indeed for joining us. Um, how much should we read into this? I mean, you know, Elon Musk made a big deal about wanting to buy Twitter. It was all over Twitter indeed. He's got more than 100 million followers himself. And then he was trying to back out of the deal, claiming that um, he didn't think they actually had as many people, you, real users, not, not bots, as they had claimed. And now suddenly he's, uh, he's changed his mind. What's really going on? So thanks for having me back on again. It's time for our sort of two or three monthly check-in as to how this is going. We'll still be here in 2027 <laughs> when, we're, when, when Musk is launching people into space. Yeah, basically what happened was in, in April he offered $44 billion, which was above market rate, as you have to do when you're uh, taking over a company um, to buy the shares, take the company public. But in the meantime, what happened was the, the stock market tanked, essentially, wiped a load of value off of um, Twitter and Tesla which uh, Elon Musk, as the world's uh, richest man, essentially lost billions there. Um, and he, it, it, it appears as though he was using the, uh, the excuse that there were a lot of unverified bot accounts um, uh, as part of Twitter that, were, that, were, that Twitter wasn't being honest about, which may well be the case, actually, but um, uh, that was a reason for him to back out. In the meantime, Twitter has, has sued Elon Musk um, and, and said that it's uh, breaching its contract in the, uh, in, in the state of Delaware, where Twitter is, is based, as a lot of uh, tech companies are. And during this process, there's been discovery, which is where you, you, you give up evidence. Each side gives up ed evidence that's relevant to the case. And Elon Musk has been receiving lots of um, text messages from some fairly powerful people, tech people in the US, the founder of Oracle, the founder of Salesforce, the original CEO of Twitter, uh, celebrities such as Joe Rogan. Um, and, and these have been made public as part of this discovery process. Um, even even politicians, even um, uh, uh, politicians have been involved in this, including presidential hopefuls. So I think there's there's an element of embarrassment for a lot of the tech elite in San Francisco um, about their, their personal and private information uh, being made public. And then there was the very real possibility that Elon Musk was about, next week, was about to get dragged through a, a pretty public um, court case mm. from, from Twitter. Um, and all signs were pointing to the fact that they weren't going to win, that Elon Musk wasn't going to win that. So he seems to have capitulated and... I, th I thought um, I thought the deal originally was that uh, he would have to pay a billion dollars if he pulled out of this deal. And let's face it, money down the back of the sofa for Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. uh, and then they became the court case. But, but he didn't want to pay the billion. But if he doesn't want to buy, he could just not do it. But the price has gone back up as a result of him, that offer, because the shares are worth what someone is willing to pay for them today. Um, do we think that he's always really wanted to buy it? He just wanted to get it cheaper? Hard to predict with with Musk what it, what he's doing. I mean, earlier this this week he was he was tweeting about how to solve the Russia Ukraine crisis by Ukraine giving up uh, giving up land um, in return for peace. So he, he's he is sort of the clown prince of, of the tech world. So it's really hard to predict what he's what he's going to do. Yeah, the the, the penalty for stepping away from this deal was either going to be that the, ju the judge would make him pay the full forty four billion, say he's not allowed to step away from the deal, or he would have to pay a billion as a penalty for wanting to step away from the deal. But that would set a dangerous precedent in the tech world for people just like Musk to be able to say, I want to buy you. And then, like you say, pay yeah. a billion, which to him and his friends is a sort of chump change. And really, this is the thing that you notice from the from the, the evidence that's been posted in this in this case is that there are there are loads of people in the tech world in Silicon Valley who will offer Musk money to, to back this sort of deal because you know, Twitter's an interesting one, whereas it's, 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 it's both massively important and not, ma not important at all, where, you know, big Twitter yeah. users like yourself, Julia, you know, you can get, you know, in the media, you can get so involved in Twitter and the discussion, but actually there are a lot of people that don't use Twitter, but lots of powerful people Oh, yeah, people exactly. Would love it's, to it's, 
Yes, it's all happening on Facebook eh, in terms of actually, you know, um, you know changing votes and, 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 and passing on the, the memes and all that and TikTok and all these other things that young people are using. And that's the thing, but it's still incredibly powerful as a political debate area, isn't it? And one of the things that a lot of people were happy about him buying it was he was talking about you know, the likes of Donald Trump being allowed to be back on. And I'm certainly very much against sort of council culture. So my view is, yeah, you know, I don't have to agree with someone to think they should be allowed to have that space. But again, if he does buy it and Donald Trump comes back on, that may be absolutely crucial in the next presidential election in the United States. So there's an awful lot of people who are going to have an awful lot of opinions on this today. Yeah, exactly. And, and lots of lots of people were coming forward and, and suggesting ideas for Musk if he was to get um, uh, Twitter. So, you know, like you say, he, yeah. he publicly said he was going to reinstate Donald Trump. People were suggesting Gail King, the, the US um, news anchor, was suggesting that, uh, that Oprah Winfrey might want to sit on the board. So all these sort of powerful people coming out of the woodwork, because even to have a small say in Twitter is incredibly yeah. powerful if you're a politician or a media personality and yeah. decide the way forward. People were saying it needs to be on the blockchain and be more public. So loads of ideas coming forward and trying to influence us. Okay. Great. Really good to talk to you again. We'll, 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 we'll come to you for the next update, depending on what actually happens. Guy Cocker uh, is editor-in-chief at Maximum PC Magazine. Appreciate that. 7.39 is the time. Let's